and I'd like to present the idea of the friendship paradox. This will be an example of a video quiz response for Math 32. The statement is, your friends on average have more friends than you do. This might make sense. This might sound like it should not be true. And, but anyhow, this comes from the field of statistics, in particular a notion called sampling bias. In order to eventually get to calculations, let's have an example to play with. Here I have six characters from the Among Us video game, and we have a network between them, a friendship network, if you will, where there's a drawn connection if they, in this hypothetical, are friends with each other. For our convenience, I'll leave the network on the left side of our screen while we go into some definitions. The index set, the set of nodes, are our six characters, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Our friendship metric coming from network theory says has a value of one if there's a connection between persons A and B, no uh, zero otherwise. Using the picture on the left to guide us, we would say that the connection that there is a connection between purple and red, so the function has a value of one. We see that there is no friendship connection between purple and green, so the function value is zero. And for this definition, we say that persons are not friends with themselves. Moving on to friends of friends, which is now two degrees of separation, we have a network theory definition. We could see in the graph that purple and orange are friends of friends with each other through red. So that has a value of one, even though purple and orange themselves are not immediately friends. <clears throat> There's a quirk in this definition that says that a person can be friends of friends with themselves. I use that definition in line with how social media networks are studied. And you can kind of guess where this calculation is headed. Connecting the information on a table and counting out how many friends each character has. We see that eventually we could have a total of 18 friends, but this was amongst six characters. So they have an average of three friends per character. If we continue to dive into the network and trace the friends of friends, we would arrive at 64 connections. But this is now averaged over the 18 friends we found in the previous calculation. 64 divided by 18, we get 3.56. And we would arrive there through the network formulations as well. We have shown, at least in this example, that the average number of friends of friends is greater than the average number of friends. And hence, that's the friendship paradox. For relevance to the outside world, reading off a collection of quotes here, using a sample of the Twitter firehose, we confirmed that the friendship paradox holds for over 98% of Twitter users. With careful consideration that Twitter is a more complicated network. In epidemiology, it is known that individuals near the center of a social network are likely to be infected sooner during the course of an outbreak on average than those at the periphery. In a follow-up paper, the method actually works better than expected due to network structure alone because highly central actors are more active and exhibit increased diversity in the information they transmit to others. So for example, in as of this recording, October 2020 pandemic year, there's a very popular person out there. And if you are studying a disease outbreak, you would probably want to keep an eye on that very popular person and that person's connections. Here are my references. I adapted this presentation from a YouTube video by Keystone, their Reddit post. And finally, I'd like to dedicate this presentation to my friend old friend Jennifer Mendiola, who is a grad student here at UC Merced in the psychology department. We read some of these papers during her studies of loneliness in social media users. And then finally, just to tack on, yes, red is sus. Thank you.